product information. All right, some more stuff that I found. That might be interesting. Uh, a little bit different, perhaps. Uh, so, well, let's do this. Um, what we have here is a selection of products from Adafruit. Uh, they're the same folks that, if you look back at the amplifier video that I bought the amplifier from, and I noticed these items there, and I thought they're kind of cool, so I picked them up just to have around in the toolbox for who knows what. Um, these are some adapters, and they have two here that are three and a half millimeter or one eighth adapters, and they're kind of cool, I think. At least I hadn't seen them before. Maybe they're around elsewhere. Okay, it's got the normal connector, and then. On the back, it's got a little terminal board, so you can just get your left, right, and positive. Um, these are more geared toward audio. I thought they were kind of cool. So they have the plug, the jack, and obviously these might be handy at some point if you're working with an audio cable, and you're coming over and you want to connect to something that doesn't have that, or for whatever reason, um, now you can certainly you can cut this off, you can strip, you know, strip the wires, tin them, and everything. Or with this, all you have to do is just plug them together. Bingo! And you got a little uh, ability to connect to your cable. I think it's neat. And it's got the typical screw terminals that we're used to seeing on a lot of our uh, on a lot of the circuit boards for different electrical uh, items so I thought these were kind of interesting and uh, these two here the two three and a half millimeter that is the plug terminal let's see if I can get in there a little bit I'll put the information down in the description you can see that part number is uh, 2790 and that costs two dollars and fifty cents and then the jack terminal is a part number Ah, sorry, 27991. That also cost two dollars and fifty cents. Not too bad, I thought. So I picked up. Actually, I have three, three each of these. I saw these. I picked these up just to have again. These are 2.1 millimeter DC jacks. Well, a DC jack and a DC plug. Uh, you can see the part numbers there. Uh, 368 for the jack and 369 for the plug. Uh, these are two dollars each and these might work if you're doing something with the ubiquitous wall wart and again you've got your cable and sometimes you might want to take that end of it and not use that plug again you can cut it bring it back strip them get the wires out and you certainly can do that not a problem however if in this case if you have your handy dandy jack and you just don't feel like doing cutting and trimming and stripping and all that kind of good stuff. All you got to do, connect these together. Not the easiest to do with one hand on the camcorder. And there you go. And now you can access the, you know, pretty easily right through that uh, terminal board there at the end. Again, I think it's kind of neat. Only bought one each of these because I don't know that I'll be using these a whole lot. Uh, but I thought they were handy. So those are some... Uh, jacks and plugs that you might find interesting again from Adafruit and I'll put the information on these down in the description. Now let's take a look also from Adafruit at some of the uh, interesting LEDs they have available. Okay what do we have here? I saw these thought they were kind of neat wanted to pick them up and just see if they might be useful uh, for, our, for our model railroading endeavors. Uh, the first one we'll look at here this is called, or they call it a backlight, a white LED backlight module. This is the medium size. Uh, you can see there I wrote on it plus three volts and about 20 milliamps. They do make other sizes. Um, this is the medium module, which is roughly, they say, 0.8 by three inches. So three quarter by three. Um, the small module is a half by one and a half, and the large is one and three quarters by uh, about three and three eighths thereabouts. Uh, this particular one is two dollars and fifty cents. The small is one ninety-five, and the large is two ninety-five. Kind of interesting. 
Um, the back's got a, and it probably won't show up real well here on the on the video, um, but it's kind of neat. And what I'm going to do, I'll hook it up. I have my handy dandy battery power there, and I'll hook it up and maybe dim the light, and you can see um, this isn't super bright, more like a backlight. It might be interesting. I picked it up just to kind of see what it looks like and what applications I'm going to use it for. I'm not sure yet, but it wasn't real expensive, and I wanted to try it. So let's hook it up and see what it looks like. All right, so that's it hooked up. Going to be a little hard to see. I'm going to dim the light and try to handle the cam code. Um, so you can see, you know, one side kind of covered to kind of block the light. And the other side has a kind of a nice white diffused light to it. Um, not super bright, but again, you might be able to use that. You know, you could. they say you can use gels to color it. You could obviously stencil it or something like that, you know, do some things with it, mask it, make it, uh, I don't know, a movie screen or in, a, in an HO scale building. I don't know. I got it because it looked kind of interesting and thought it might be something worthwhile, so now I have it. Um, so, kind of interesting. Again, it's the 3 volts. And uh, so this is the medium one, roughly 3 quarters by about 3 or so. Um backlight module and I said they do make a small size and they also make a large size which I thought was interesting so I'm gonna put this down because it's hard to do with one hand and uh, I'm gonna throw in a building and see what it might look like all right so what I did I just kind of laid that in the uh, in the bottom facing up inside this sign this is a a Bachman one of those pre-assembled buildings I bought a while ago a house nothing fancy and uh, what I'm gonna do is just turn the light off so you can see how it lights the building um, and again I didn't seal it or anything like that this is just a bench top test so you see that's what it looks like and if I turn it off alright so you can see it does provide light inside the building now obviously unless you've got uh, <laughs> I don't know a haunted house or something like that with huge floodlights in it, it probably wouldn't be lit like that. But, you know, you could. You could, you know, mask out some windows if you wanted simp something simple for, uh, you know, a building in the back that didn't need a whole lot of detail. Um, that is blocked from the other uh, inside there. Uh, there's, a, there's a wall, so you can see the, the four windows on the other side there. I'm sorry, three windows in the door. There's no light. So that, that provides some light inside there. So it can be for a factory, for something where you might have, uh, and the camcorder struggles here with the light, <clears throat> you know, you might need some more light from the top. That might be useful. Maybe. I, again, I wanted to get it just to try it. You know, I'm not all about uh, knowing exactly what I'm going to use it for, but you can see there's there's the light now that the, I turned the other lights in the, in the work, workshop off. You can see it does provide kind of a nice white diffused light. So that might be useful. I don't know. I picked it up. Again, that's the medium. And uh, they do make a small and they make a large. So that is their backlight module. Well, go back to the lights there again. That's the particular one that I got. So now let's take a look at some other LEDs I found on our site. Okay, what we have here, what they call their LED sequins. Uh, I picked up some white and red. They're actually relatively small. These are actually inside the the frets here, I'll call it, and you can see how tiny they are. I'll try to zoom in. Let's see if the camcorder will focus on them. It might not. Uh, oh, eh, looks okay. So you can see how tiny they are. There's my finger. I'm not a huge guy, so there's a kind of a reference for you, uh, plus minus, and these are the white ones. I, I bought these because I thought maybe inside a building, uh, you know, since they're small enough, they could be pretty inconspicuous. Now, you, you take them out of here, you can mount them on the ceilings, mount them on the walls. I think they're probably slightly too large for vehicles. Um, maybe not, I, I don't know, if you, if you could mask it or cover up a little bit. But I, I saw them. Again, they're not real expensive. Uh, these are the whites. Um, the part number there is a 1758. 
and they cost, let me look at my notes here, la, 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 where are they? They cost $3.95 for the pack of five. Uh, same for the Reds, and there's the part number for them. They're $17.55. I think they make blue. I didn't see yellow, or I would have I bought yellow. I don't think they have yellow, but they had blue, which I didn't think, eh, I'm not sure what I'll use blue for. Um, so you can kind of see the size of them here, you know, relatively small, um, pretty, pretty narrow there. So I thought they might be might be worthwhile. These these will work up to five volts, um, which is great because I have a five volt bus off of my uh, computer power supplies, so that's perfect. So I, I won't need dropping resistors for them, and that won't not won't focus. So let's. Uh, Let's hook them up to the 3 volts and see what they look like. Alright, so there it is lit up. That's the white one. I'll just pop the bench light off there. You can see it's, it's pretty bright. And again, you know, figuring if I had it uh, maybe mellow on the ceiling inside a building or on the wall or something like that. They're, they're kind of small. You can tuck them in, mount them on the wall. Maybe some double-sided tape or just a little bit of adhesive to stick it to the wall. You can hide the wires pretty well. I think they might be useful. And this this is the white one, so let's uh, take a quick look at the red. All right, there's the red. Let me pop the bench light off here. So there's the red. Again, I bought red because you know that you might be able to use that in, in something. Again, I, I wish they would have had yellow. Yellow would probably be pretty useful. Uh, so I have the whites and I have the reds. And what I'll do is I'll put the white inside that building and just kind of give you an idea what it might look like if you used it for interior lighting. All right, again, so for this one, I just kind of laid it there in the bottom facing up, which I mean, most of us I know probably wouldn't do, just to kind of see what it looks like. And let me just unplug the, the positive here so you can see how bright it is. So you see, it does a pretty decent job. That certainly isn't too bad. You obviously can tell it's on when it's on. So again, I, I got it because it's uh, kind of small and I might be able to... Whoa! Almost off the workbench. Might be able to put that on the wall, hang it off the ceiling or something like that to kind of hide it from the windows. Um, so not too bad. I thought it was uh, interesting. Let me just pop it off here so you can get the idea that it really does light up relatively nice. There's a camcorder adjust to it there, so you can see. I just, had it, I just had it laying in there, facing up. Probably would be much better. Although it's hard for me to show that, just you know, with my my test leads on it. But obviously, if it was, you know, perhaps hanging from this, like it was on the ceiling or something like that, uh, to light the room might look uh, relatively good. So, pardon me, I pop the light back on. So there you go. So these are their LED sequins. And I'll put the... I'm not going to focus, are we? <laughs> Sorry. And I'll put the uh, information down below. And uh, probably the white would be the most most useful for us as model editors. Red, maybe. Blue, I'm not sure. But I'm sure there's some use for a blue somewhere. Yellow would be, would be nice if they had yellow. I, I didn't see yellow. Small. Again, pretty uh, pretty handy. 5 volts. Um, so, if, like for myself, I got lucky. I don't need a dropping resistor. I can use them right off the bus. So, there you go. There's some products uh, from Adafruit, and uh, hopefully this might be uh, informational. Uh, help highlight some inf uh, some products that maybe not everyone's aware of. I'll put all the information down below in the description, and uh, more to come. Thanks for watching.